The overall goal of this method is to obtain high-quality protoplast cells from soybean to examine regulatory and signaling mechanisms in live soybean cells. This method can help answer key questions in regulatory networks, such as what are immediate target genes of a transcription factor and what are interacting partners of a protein. The main advantage of this technique is that it produces large quantities of uniform soybean protoplast cells, and it's simple and easy. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because it's very difficult to obtain nice protoplasts from soybean leaves unless you unfold it at a specific stage. The selection of leaves at an appropriate developmental stage is the key to a successful soybean protoplast preparation. Cut newly expanded unifoliate leaves from 10-day-old soybean seedlings. To make sure that one sample gives a high protoplast yield, collect at least three samples of unifoliate leaves at slightly different developmental stages. With a fresh razor blade, remove the mid-rib from each unifoliate leaf, and then cut the remains into 0.5 to 1 mm strips. Using a pair of forceps, gently transfer the leaf strips immediately into 10 milliliters of freshly prepared enzyme solution in a 15 milliliter tube. Vacuum infiltrate the leaf strips for 15 minutes at room temperature. Incubate the leaf strips in the enzyme solution with...